Adam is working on a very interesting study. He's working, he's doing a thesis project on it. It's about predicting exchange rate using the United States exchange rate against three major currencies. And he's also using a very interesting or promising new technique in the field. I got the idea uh, over the summer. I had an internship at a trading firm in, in downtown Chicago. And the goal was uh, the, the team that I was working under wanted to find a way to take the discretionary aspect out of trading exchange rates. And one of the ways uh, that they were looking at, among many others, was a, was a methodology called a, a neural network. And uh, we tried, we, we tested that, tried implementing it, and, and I found it unique and interesting, and uh, I figured it would be a, a great opportunity to try and bring this into economics and, and kind of see uh, what, what we can, what I, what I could do with it for a, for a thesis. The idea from a neural network is stolen from uh, biology. It, it tries to model neurons like, like neurons in, in, in your brain. It's actually considered a, uh, a part of, uh, of an artificial intelligence, so it's not commonly found in economics. Uh, where you do see it used a lot is in stuff such as uh, uh, like image processing, uh, facial recognition. Um, they apply it to robots because uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a it's a method that tries to predict uh, the next movement, the next thing, or, and it tries to recognize patterns. So it's able to try and take that data, previous data, and use that to, to project what, what the next uh, movement's going to be. In economics, uh, what we're doing is, is trying to predict uh, exchange rates, like you said, and more specifically, what I'm trying to do with it is try and predict either a depreciation or an up appreciation in, uh, in the exchange rate. Um, and we're doing that for weekly and daily data, which is uh, typically more frequent than what's, what's looked at uh, in most economic studies. So far, we're, we're getting fairly good results on it, or, uh, or I am, sorry. And mm. uh, what I'm doing is I'm forecasting 50 to 100 days or weeks out of sample, mm. and, and we're able to get between 75 and 80 percent accuracy on predicting whether it's going up or down. Compared to, say, maybe 50 to 55% okay. um, in the standard economic models. So okay. the, the implications are, uh, obviously, in trading, you, you can use it to trade uh, currencies on. But there's also it also impacts uh, big multinational firms that uh, mm -hmm. conduct businesses, business in, in you know, uh, multiple areas around the world, because a lot of these businesses make uh, currency transfers fairly frequently and being able to uh, forecast the movement in the exchange rate can help them uh, either preserve their money or uh, or maybe even make a little bit just by moving it back around. He is a student but actually I'm learning from him how to develop the technique, how to do the technique, how to interpret the results. Yes, I advise him in some concept, in general concepts, but however, he teaches me in the very specific points in how to run the technique and how to interpret the results of the technique. And this also might be the first study that used that technique in the department, and maybe other students will come up and follow and introduce the new technique, and maybe more results come out on predictions. And again, if we talk about this artificial, artificial intelligence or the neural network methods, it usually perform way better than any other of the traditional techniques, give a high forecast, uh, powerful results. And we need that. So I believe Adam introduced one new thing to the department, and hopefully will, other students will come and follow through.